Did you know that approximately one third of star systems in the Milky Way have two or more stars, with the rest having only one? Well, I can say whatever I want and even claim that balls are square shaped. But how can I prove my statement? The most reliable way is to simulate the life of a stellar system. As we know, each body attracts each other body, which is said in the law of universal gravitation. So let's implement that. I'm surprised how well the algorithm performs at the very beginning, because we can even see filament structures, which are very natural. But we can already notice that it's unbelievably slow. Quite predictably, to be honest, because the time complexity is O of n squared. I've come up with my own algorithm with this time complexity. Here is the point of it. All the bodies are stored in cells. A cell contains the total mass of its bodies and the center of their masses. A body is attracted to each other body from the neighboring cells, and then to each non-neighboring cell as one big body. Let's spawn blue bodies that use this algorithm and watch their behavior. If this method serves as a full replacement for the first way, the blue bodies have to never move off the green bodies. And guess what happens? Initially, it works almost as accurately, but then the accuracy plummets. The most common way to simulate a star system is to use the bonds hot algorithm. Without going into detail, the algorithm has a parameter called theta, which you need to decrease to get better accuracy. And it uses quadtrees by the way. Well, the same thing happens. Here's a good question. When does it all go wrong? 5 seconds in, 10, 15? Let's implement a feature that makes all three types of bodies, green, blue, and red, start following the straightforward algorithm on space to see how long is enough for the accuracy to drop. I will press it instantly. At a certain point, the bodies still shift off of each other. That means even a second of not using the stupid way, which is also the most accurate way, is enough. What we have witnessed is called a deterministic chaos. If you're not a fan of big words, the idea is that the process changes radically due to a minor change in the initial parameters. So here's the conclusion. If you want to imitate a stellar system, use the first method. By the way, the simulation uses an incredible way to detect collisions between the bodies, which I'll talk about in the next video. So stay tuned!